So hello, I am here today to talk about how to make some earrings. And I'm also, since Martin Luther King Day is cut right around the corner, I'm gonna talk about some books that we have at the library that you might like to borrow. So I'm gonna share my screen first. And I have already done a search in the owl.org catalog. I searched for Martin Luther King as the subject, all books. And of course, over here, I made it Macedon Public Library because I wanted to see what was actually in this library. And here are some of our books about Martin Luther King Jr. And we have quite a few for kids. This is a good one for children or adults, uh, Chasing King's Killer. Uh, teens really like it, but it's, it's all factual. It's a nonfiction book. And if you're interested in the hunt for Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassin, this is a really good one to read. This book, Martin's Big Words, this is my favorite Martin Luther King book for children. I used to be a teacher librarian and I always would read this to the children. Very well done. As an adult, you have to sort of maybe uh, be careful because it can be a little emotional near the end. If you borrow it, you'll see what I mean. Excellent book. It is checked out now, but it'll be coming back. And I've just discovered that it's available on owl to go So if you do eBooks, you could borrow it that way. Um, we have Memphis Martin and the Mountaintop, which details the sanitation strike of 1968. We have a book about Martin Luther King Jr. This is a, a simple book for younger kids to just kind of get a sense of who he was. Be a King, Dr. Mo Martin Luther King Jr.'s Dream and You. Uh, this one's really good. My brother Martin, a sister remembers growing up with Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Very good one right there. You may be interested in Coretta Scott King. We have some books about her. Uh, three books about her. And down here, um, these are the two most adult books we have. We have Kennedy and King, The President, The Pastor, and The Battle Over Civil Rights. And then we have Bearing the Cross, Martin Luther King Jr. and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. So most of these books are currently available to you. You can uh, go ahead and place a hold on these and then you would be contacted and you could come and pick it up. We'll either bring it to your car or put it in the shed and you can pick it up um, in the grab and go service model. So I hope you will consider reading a book about Martin Luther King Jr. Now I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we're gonna to get to the exciting part of making these adorable little earrings. Now I need to change my view one more time. Your hair is getting long. It is. My hair is getting super long. It's just easier <laughs> not to worry about haircuts right now. Yeah, that's true. So if you've picked up your kit and if you, if you have not, it's okay. We have plenty. You can even buy an extra one. I, I made quite a few of these. You should have two hearts that have a Martin Luther, G, Martin Luther King Jr. quote on them. Comes from... Um, it's actually in that book I said was my favorite. It says, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. I think this is an excellent quote for the time times we're living through right now. And I think it's an excellent thing to be mindful of every day, not just on Martin Luther King Day. But Martin Luther King did actually say these words. So you should have two of these. You should have two of these French hooks and two, they could be silver or gold or rose gold, little uh, circles. They could be mm -hmm. bronzy. I have different ones, depending on what kit you got. And you should, I didn't give you pliers, but you'll need <laughs> some pliers. You can use your own if you make jewelry. If you don't make jewelry, maybe raid someone's tool chest and get some pliers. Actually, to tell you the truth, these rings aren't too terribly tough to open with your fingers. I do it all the time. I just grab one side and the other, look for the little seam where the, the ring comes together. 
and then yes. I pull one direction with one thumb and finger and the other direction with the other thumb and finger, like a saloon door. So Got it. I go like that and it opens. Now, of course, if you do use your pliers, it's the same idea. You just have the plier for a little leverage. So I've got one open and I am going to take my hook and I'm gonna put that little fish hook or French hook, whichever you wanna call it, on the, the little loop, the circle. And then there's a hole in your heart. You wanna put that on there. Now you wanna think about it a little bit. And I just have to kind of hold it up. You want your quote to be facing out when you put your earring on. So make sure when you put your, your heart on that it's facing, that your, your French hook should be pointed at you and the heart should be pointed out. Got it. That makes sense. And then, whoops, I lost mine. Then you're just gonna go ahead and close it up. So I gotta put mine back on here. Got it. There. Okay. And I kind of like these uh, loops because they're so easy to open and close. Some of them, lots of them are not this easy, but these are pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same steps to get my other one. I open it, put my French loop on, and then I have to think about. You got them. To face out. And then I shut it. Now I think these look nice natural. Look at that. Yours are all done and they're perfect. <laughs> I think these look pretty nice just as I like them easy. natural. Yeah. But you could take like a fine point Sharpie and maybe do a fine line around the edge of it or some sparkly nail polish. I'm such a fan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little okay. that on the edge. Although that's tricky. You got to have a steady hand or you can just leave them natural. If you're worried um about any marring you might want to put some clear coat nail polish or if you have the spray clear coat you could do that just to sort of protect them but okay. you could also just leave them as they are and they're pretty you might want to paint the back because unfortunately with the laser cutter it's so the laser's so hot you get a little scorching even on the back yeah and but that makes it look nice i like the way it looks like that yeah, me. yeah. Natural. but if it bothers you go ahead and just paint the back or use a sharpie basically anything colored pencil almost anything you have will probably work on this so okay. and that's it i hope you uh have fun wearing your earrings on martin luther king day and other days in the year and i hope that people check out a martin luther king jr book i will thank you thank you for coming bye bye, -bye.